You know, I've gotten as many as 12 half hour videos on this memory card. And uh, I, I don't know how many more it could take, but uh, it stops every 30 minutes. I got to turn it off, turn it back on, and that's what I just did. I just finished part 13. This will be the conclusion, but it's part 14. Now, I did this chapter a few weeks ago, and I finished it in 11. And God says it's because I'm talking too much. Just read the book. You got to understand, he controls what I say. When I'm talking too much, he's having me talk too much. Probably get me, it'd be frustrating. That's part of the, I'm still in the five or five. It doesn't end. I can barely get out of this chair. He's got my knees locked up, and he's pressing on my shoulders and my neck. If I seem like I'm kind of bent over, it's because of him. It's because I watched this video, and I asked him, why do you have me bent over? I'm your representation. So anyway, this is where I left off. I'll repeat it. My righteous servant of, in 13, this is part 14, chapter 21 of the book titled, God titled, Isaiah 53 and the Day of the Lord. Uh, that he dictated to me as he dictated the Torah to Moses. Moses couldn't have possibly known the information of the first five books of the Hebrew Bible and if you would listen to these proofs on the video uh, or read this book, you'll know. I couldn't have this knowledge any more than he could have had the knowledge of Genesis, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, Numbers, Exit. Well, he would have had some first-hand information there, but he still didn't write it. So, picking back up with the paragraph my camera went off on at 30 minutes. My righteous servant makes the many righteous. It is their punishment that he bears. God's righteous servant is a man of pain, suffering, and wounds throughout his life, <laughs> orchestrated by God, who takes credit for just about every bad thing that has ever happened to him. Came to me at birth, but didn't let me know he was with me until I was 50 years old. That was after the cancer. Well after. I had the cancer when I was about 43 and he talked to me when I was 50. Man of pain and suffering, wounds throughout his life with persistent hardship and troubles, grievously affected especially by disease and severely injured at one time or another as though plague smitten and afflicted by God. Yeah, read the book, The Life of God's Righteous Servant. He also dictated to me. It's all his. I didn't have to learn the information. It's my life to show how I fit that, par that paragraph right there. These are the qualities that identify him as God's righteous servant who makes the many righteous. It is this life that has prepared him to be the teacher of righteousness. Yeah, it may be pretty tough. A lot of suffering. Suffering makes you stronger, God says. And those who listen to and heed me and repent of their future sins, the new covenant, having forgiven all past sins, in the practice of Judaism and returning to synagogue are made righteous and remain righteous and go into the scroll of remembrance. That scroll's very important. That's a complete change in the day of the Lord. He's just leaving the people who don't uh, worship him and abide by his laws. Evil, some people would say. Uh, sinners. Uh, it's leaving them out of the Jewish heaven. As all the, you know, the, all the prophets acted like evil and sinning was just eliminated by killing, basically, everybody who was evil and sin. But that's not the case in Malachi 3. It completely changes it. They're still going to be here on the planet. No messianic era, heaven on earth, so to speak. That is uh, basically man's words. It's Rambam. It's where it basically comes from. 
and the day of the Lord books, or, or when the prophets talked about it, and there were seven of them, makes it sound like there'll be such a day where evil will be gone and it'll be like heaven on earth. But Rambam really expounded on it. Those who are in right standing with God are entered into the scroll of remembrance of Malachi 3. Those who God has reckoned with and dismissed when his shepherd and servant David arise, that's me, the shepherds, are sin free and practice Judaism, they're observant, but they are not in right standing with God. He's dismissed them. You no know the way they can get around that? Teach this book. Bring Judaism into the modern day and out of antiquity and straighten out all these false teachings of man's word. And false teachings of some that's God. They just misinterpret it. Malachi chapter 3, verses 16 through 17. The Lord has heard and noted it, and a scroll of remembrance has been written at his behest concerning those who revere the Lord and esteem his name. And in the day that I am preparing, said the Lord of hosts, they shall be my treasured possession. I will be tender toward them as a man is tender towards the son who ministers to him. That means heaven. Because God's not going to go to people and do that here on earth. And I say, he could have written it a little clearer than that. <laughs> he said it's perfect. <clears throat> the scroll of remembrance is not the book of life that I am preparing is the day of the Lord. Oh, the day that I am preparing is the day of the Lord. A man who is tender towards the Son who ministers to him is a man who never wants to be without him. Isaiah 55, 65, chapter 17 through 18. For behold, I am creating a new heaven and a new earth. The former things shall not be remembered. It's very interesting, but I don't have time to get into it right now. They shall never come to mind. Be glad then and rejoice forever in what I am creating. For I shall create Jerusalem as a joy and her people as a delight. Isaiah 66 verse 22. For as the new heaven and the new earth which I will make, shall endure by my will, declares the Lord, so shall your seed and your name endure. The Israel, the Jewish people, Jewish heaven. The new heaven, where the name Israel shall endure, is heaven, with the addition of the angels Israel, when the earth is no more. Heaven is only for the Jewish people. The new earth in heaven, you'll see it created. I've been there. He's shown to me in vision. Before there was any human life, any life whatsoever, just volcanoes, tectonic plates, blowing up, separating different continents. And he's going to choose the people again. And he says, it'll go for that, that who I choose. It might be different names. But they're going to go the same thing the Jewish people have gone through. So the Jewish people get to see their entire history unfold before them. And that's what I call the entertainment of heaven. No, no TVs. Okay, this is Rashi. Last verse, verse 12. And the book he's using, the verses he uses. Therefore, I will allot him a portion in public and with the strong he shall share plunder because he poured out his soul to death exposed to death and with transgressors he was counted a sinner and he bore the sin of many and intervened for the transgressors all that's been covered Rashi Midrash 
Therefore, because he did this, I will lock him an inheritance and a lot in public with the patriarchs. Where's the commentary? Oh. Midrash, therefore, commentary. Because he did this, I will allot him an inheritance and a lot in public with the patriarchs. When were all of the Jewish people as one man Israel? A lot of inheritance? Because he did it. Oh, oh, did this. Well, one of those did this is exposed to death. When were they all as one man, gathered as one man Israel? I don't know why Jews for Judaism and Toby Singer don't get that concept. Two times, Oreb and Jerusalem by the 13 tribes who returned. Another fabrication of these supposed mythical ten lost tribes. <laughs> Read Ezra. You can't come up with that. They gather as one man in Jerusalem. It's only two times it's happened. So I don't know. And 53 describes a Gentile. Not a Jew. And they don't even know that. They don't know when the day of the Lord is. They don't know anything about the angel of God's presence, the Holy Spirit. And yet I do. An atheist of 50 years. At God's orchestration, he wanted a clean slate to teach me. And I see what these religious people do and teach, and I just do this. I just, I'm like, I can't believe this. I didn't know anything about religion. I didn't hang out with religious people at all. I didn't know Jesus had died for the sins of Gentiles or Jews first or... I didn't know any of this. I didn't know there was a problem between Christianity and Judaism. I didn't know Christianity had stolen the book God dictated for his people. Called it their own, attached it to the New Testament. Coming to uh, Midrash, he poured out his soul to death. An expression like something, something in Genesis 24 through 20. I guess it's chapter 24, verse 20. And she emptied her pitcher. He poured out his soul to death. She emptied her pitcher. No, that's exposed to death. And with transgressors, he was counted. Sinners. He suffered torments as if he had sinned and transgressed. And this is because of others. He bore the sin of the many. That's, again, vicarious suffering. I, I don't know where he's going with all of this. Again, it's still better than Jews for Judaism or outreach Judaism. This is just an absurdity from the get-go. Midrash. And interceded for the transgressions through his sufferings. For good came to the world through him, vicarious suffering. I atone, he apparently, all the Jewish people as one man, Israel, atone for the shame and guilt of the Gentiles. That's what, that's what Jews for Judaism says too. When I start to blur out, if I stand up, my autofocus goes back into effect. I don't know why that is. Okay, my commentary. From the JPS, chapter 12, 1985 version. Assuredly, I will give him the many as his portion. He shall receive the multitude as his spoil. For he exposed himself to death and was numbered among the sinners. Whereas he bore the guilt of the many, offering myself to remove their guilt, go through the fire of refinement, covenant with God, and made righteous and are made righteous as the many who become a multitude. Okay, Midrash. For he exposed himself to death. God's righteous servant is crushed with disease that exposes him to death, but given him long life. Rashi says the Jewish people as one man Israel poured out their soul unto death. 
It does not tell us when this happened or will happen. It, they're never going to gather as one man in Israel again. Can you imagine trying to get every Jew, oh, well over 20 million, on the face of the earth together as one man? It takes 100%. That's what... That's when they were gathered as one man, the Israelites. Every one of them came out before Moses at Oreb. And according to Ezra, happened again with the, uh, the, the remnant of the 13 tribes that returned from the exile, the exiles. And they built the second temple as the Holy See. In the book of Isaiah, God forgave their sins. This is just a repeat story because we got a temple to build. And for whatever reason God has, he wants the Jewish people to be a holy seed when that's done. And there's two or three other reasons for that. And was numbered among the sinners. Commentary. God's righteous servant, Moshe, will have been a sinner, a Gentile, not a religious man in the beginning. I had no problem with that. There's very few sins I didn't, I, I didn't do. Is that that's not good language? I never murdered anybody, and I wasn't a chronic sinner. I just seen with God's orchestration to have fallen into just about all of them. God thinks that's so funny. Whereas He bore the guilt of the many. Rashi says he suffered torments as if he had sinned and transgressed. And this is because of others. He bore the sin of the many. Okay, concluding. The Jewish people, as one man, Israel, oh, basically this is what he's saying. They're basically saying he became Jesus. Vicariously suffered for every put of the Gentile. And that's what they teach. Bearing the sin of the many, according to Rashi. This is why Rambam and many others would not agree with Rashi that Isaiah 53 described Israel. Well, we all just went through all his commentary. Do you, do you think it describes Israel according to Rashi? If you think this is bad, go read Toby of Singers. And, and Jews for Judaism, the entirety of which is based on world exaltation of the Jew. Which is never going to happen. Never has happened. Never will happen. Never meant to happen. And I, I guess they got it from Ramban. They, 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 they point out Isaiah chapter 52, 13, or 12. Oh, 13, I'm pretty sure it is. Well, the word exalt shows up. But that's for me. That's part of Isaiah 53 that there's no part of it. 52 ends at verse 12. And it's a celebration of the return of the 13 tribes. And the exalting, that's basically getting the second, uh, the third temple built. And exiles, yeah, that doesn't even apply. The Jewish people, as one man, are not described. It is a particular man known in the Babylon Talmud as the leper scholar. A man to be the representation of God in the day of the Lord, speaking and writing his words as the prophet like Moses. Now, I don't know why they just changed that. What, I mean, Michael Skobach comes out and says things like, Our sages say, well, your sages say it's not Israel. They say it's a man called the leper scholar, crushed with disease, leprosy, makes the many righteous by his knowledge, a scholar. Okay, next up, we're finally done with 21 part 13 or 14. I don't even remember that. Um, it's 14. But we're not sure. We missed chapter 20. And this is chapter 22. This is the discussion of Isaiah 53 that is pointed towards the fact Jesus does not fit any verse. 
until you get to verse 12. And he's a sinner. And he is. God's got a top ten lies of Jesus. And one of them is the greatest lie in the seat in the history of mankind. And there's a video on that one. Oh, there's no doubt. I mean, he just changed the, he changed the prophecy. That's not what the prophecy is. It says all the prophets say to me. No, they don't. None of them do. It's a complete fabrication. Now, that's by whoever wrote that gospel. Uh, Jesus is a myth. I may be talking to him as though he was real, but he's a myth. This, it, I'm just talking about the Jesus that's in the story. And a great story it is. And then we, that's chapter 22. And then we got 23, which can already be found, but it's already getting in kind of bad repair. I'm going to redo it. Uh, that's Toby a singer in his uh, assessment of Isaiah 53.10. And 24 is Jews for Judaism and their exaltation, uh, which will be fun to watch. I'll, they'll be brand new and in good repair. But uh, God may have me skip 20 and 22 and go right to 23 and 24. I, I won't know until I know. That's the way everything is with me. Nothing of the future. And he would never tell me what anybody's thinking or doing. Like Toby saying, I don't know for a fact that he's heard there's some man out here screaming to the high heavens, I am the righteous servant Moshe. Which, of course, we know angers people. That's, God pointed that out in verse 4. I don't know why. I mean, they believe it's going to happen, but when that belief is tested, they fail. Why aren't they checking it out? Don't they owe that to their followers, their flock? Nobody's asked me, well, can we test you? Can we talk to you? And I'll tell them, read the book, and we'll talk. We'll see. You'll not test me as you tested God at Massa. And you can find that in the Hebrew Bible. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to leave my setup up for the most part. And we're going to try to get another hour in. It takes some six plus hours to update these two, to upload these two half hours. And that's uploading them at the same time. I don't know why it's so slow. I've done it two hours before. I think it's just YouTube. They're just having a problem right now. But that's why this is going so slow, getting this whole new set out. And I just keep reposting the old one, uh, the last one. And uh, that's that's current from two or three weeks ago. But like I said, there are already there's some of them that are already really showing some wear and tear where the voice isn't synchronized with my mouth and uh, a little bit, not blurry, but faint. Not near as bad as the old ones, the, the original ones from two years ago. But they got reposted some 40 times. We're only on eight on this latest uh, 50 chapters from a few weeks ago. Thank you for watching.